Well, hi there, Internet. My name's Court, and I'm very late to it, but I finally watched the first episode of the new DC animated Harley Quinn series, and now I want to talk about it. I'm going to keep this brief. There will be very, very mild spoilers, but I don't think you need to worry about it. So let's do it. First off, I want to say I like the cast. I dug Kaylee Cuoco as Harley Quinn, although I wish she had had a little bit more of that twang in her accent, but whatever, that's a little thing. I've always liked Dieter Bader as Batman, so that's fine. I've been a fan of Alan Tudyk's voice work for a long time, so his Joker totally worked for me. I thought Christopher Maloney as Jim Gordon was fine. I don't think he did a bad job. I don't I'm not sure I love the characterization of him as like a crazy person, but whatever. The standout for me was Lake Bell as Poison Ivy. She gets a lot of the humor. She delivers it really, really well. And I thoroughly enjoyed J.B. Smoove as Frank the Plant, who is a direct reference to the Audrey 2 plant from Little Shop of Horrors, a movie that I love. And I liked a lot of the humor in this episode. There was some dry stuff, there was some goofy stuff, and I laughed out loud three or four times. Now I will say I found the swearing rather off-putting. I'm not offended by swearing, I swear more than I should. But it felt really out of place here. Maybe it's just because it's the first episode and I have to get used to it. But it felt really out of place, particularly because it was so extreme. I'm fine with like a couple swears here and there, but watching this episode it was like, until the handle breaks off and you have to find a doctor to pull it out again. And aside from a couple of the swears that did actually make me laugh, for the most part it didn't really add anything. It felt like they were just trying to be edgy, and I don't find swearing edgy. And I felt the same about the sexual stuff in the show. Again, I'm not offended by sexuality, and yes, obviously Harley's always had a sexual energy to her, but like that scene where she and the Joker are sticking their tongues in each other's mouths, like, it just felt like they were just trying to be gross and mission accomplished. And the show is also very violent. The violence didn't stand out to me so much, maybe because I'm used to seeing some of the DC animated movies are pretty freaking violent, so maybe I'm more used to it, didn't stand out so much. But let's be honest, this is a rated R show, this is not for kids. I don't love the character designs and animation, but I certainly don't hate it either. It's decent, it works well enough. And the show has a frenetic energy that I really totally enjoyed, which was bolstered by a really solid little soundtrack, including some good punk rock. That worked for me. I'm not sold on this show yet, but I'll watch another episode and I'll go from there. Now, I don't have a proprietary rating system as of yet, so I'm just trying to figure out what I'm going to give the first episode of Harley Quinn. And I think I'm going to give the first episode of Harley Quinn a... Don't you want to rev up your Harley? Vroom, vroom. Out of 10. So now, I want to know, have you seen the episode? What did you think about it? Are you looking forward to the next one? What is your favorite iteration of Harley Quinn in media? Whatever your thoughts, hit the comments below. Let's discuss. If you enjoyed this review, please smash that like button and give it a share if you really enjoyed it. And hey, why not take a second, do me a favor, click subscribe and ring that bell to subscribe to my channel for more movie reviews, entertainment news, trailer reactions, all that good stuff. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.